Denver is getting a lot of attention this week. In a moment, details on why certain aircraft are going to have a lot of people looking up tomorrow. First, though, to a mystery. The search for clues about a mystery object over Denver that nearly caused a mid-air collision. New tonight, Nine Wants to Know's Will Ripley has been looking into this since we got a news tip this afternoon. So, Will, what have you learned? Mark, we learned the FAA is launching an investigation tonight, and here's why. Take a look at this. This is live radar on FlightAware.com. You can see each of these planes would signify private and commercial air traffic around the Denver area. Now, as far as we know, the mystery object we're talking about did not show up on this radar yesterday, and investigators believe it could pose a serious safety hazard. A close call in the skies over Denver. Remote controlled aircraft or what? Something just went by the other way. A pilot called air traffic control when something flew past his plane. Stop. 20 to 30 seconds uh, ago, and uh, uh, yeah, it was like a large remote controlled aircraft. This Nine Wants to Know animation based on radio transmission shows the corporate jet was 8,000 feet over Cherry Creek when the mystery object came close enough to make any pilot nervous. That's an issue because now we have something in controlled airspace that poses a danger. Former NTSB investigator and Nine News aviation analyst Greg Fife. Listen to the air traffic recordings. He believes the object could be one of three things. One, a military or law enforcement drone. Was this an unmanned vehicle that was part of some sort of law enforcement operation? Two, a remote controlled aircraft. Was this somebody that had flown a large model aircraft inadvertently into the airspace? Three, a large bird. It just caught the pilot's eye, so he believed it was an aircraft but could have been a very large wingspan bird. Any one of those things could be catastrophic if it collides with an airplane. Just look at what happened three years ago on the Hudson River when a bird strike took down a commercial airliner. The threat is there from a collision standpoint. FAA spokesman Mike Fergus says investigators will talk to the pilot and look at other clues. Well, we'll do as much